Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love talking about new Transformers. I don't have them in hand, just like to chit chat. So sit back and relax, and uh, let's just talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kids, add on kids, add on kids for days. And DNA Design is giving us DK30 Gear Master upgrade set for Kingdom Leader Galvatron. Man, with all the upgrades he's getting, he's going to be a masterpiece by the time we're done. Golly. So the kit consists of shoulder parts. That's awesome. Leg extenders, so he can be a little taller. Shot collar. And then you got new hands, which that's awesome. Uh, you get matrix holder with a longer chain. You get a new face frame with three inter interchangeable faces. Oh, that's even better. And you get a G1 toy inspired gun. And you get a blast effect. That's awesome, too, as well. I may have to get this one. It looks pretty good, but yeah, like I said, he's getting so many upgrade kits. I mean, it's gonna he's gonna be a masterpiece by the time we're done. So there you go. This should be out around April 2022. So there you go. DNA Designs DK30 for Kingdom Leader Leader Galvatron. And it looks like we got some new Shockwave kits from Heavis Zool. Um, I'll try to put this link to his uh, store, or whatever he has. But um, it looks like he got some new kits for MP Shockwave. Uh, you got Fans Toys Quake Wave and Lemon Tree Toys Purple Potato. Uh, so set A, you got the new blast effects and new feet. And you also got the smoke effects. Well, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Set B, same thing. You get the same feet. You get the uh, you know the uh, blast effects and the smoke effects. Now with set C, you only get the blast effects and the smoke, uh, smoke effects set for uh, the Purple Potato. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think these are, you know, probably 3D printed, you know, but they look pretty cool. Uh, I like that, you know, they do make the feet a whole lot better, and I love Blast Flex. So there you go. This is Shockwave Kits from H-A-F-I-Z-Z-U-L. And like I said, I'll try to put something in the description so you can follow that. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to Legends. And I came across this. I do not know quite who this is. I think it's XYZ or something. Um, they're giving us a, it looks like a Legend Scale Bruticus. Um, it doesn't look like it's a knockoff. It could be a new company. I have no idea. Uh, they said the overall height is about 21 centimeters, so that's about 8 inches tall, so he's, you know, really small. Um, the toy design adopts a no pendant design. Weapons and accessories will fit and stored in human figures or car models. Uh, don't worry about finding space for accessories. I, just, you know, some broken English. I don't know what it really means, but yeah, I just came across this one picture. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you up to date if I find out some more about this, but this is like XYZ and it could be a, you know, like a legend scale Bruticus coming. I have no clue, but you know, it'll be cool if it does. And we got some new box images of Iron Factory's Bay Racer. This is their beachcomber. And it looks like we see some, what he's coming with, like a gun, uh, two extra sets of hands and an extra head sculpt. I love that doom buggy mode. That looks really cool. And the bot mode looks really good. So I'm excited for this. Iron Factory, you always get my money. So there you go. Iron Factory Bay Racer. Really come out. All right. And then we got new images of Magic Square Doomsday. And this is their toy version. It looks pretty good. Nice paint job. And he's got different chests. You know, he's got the chests of the toy version. And also when he was, uh, you know, in the movie where he gets, you know, uh, beat up by Optimus Prime. And you got the, you know, all the other stuff. You get the, uh, looks like a purple Crimson. You get some other stuff with him as well. So pretty cool. It's a nice bot. I like it. Uh, so there you go. This is Magic Square Doomsday. And this is the toy version. And uh, he's coming out pretty soon, probably. All right. And it looks like New Age Get Ready for the Slaughter. This is Slaughter, their uh, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Looks like he's being shipped out to retailers, so that is awesome. I can't wait for this. You get a nice sword, and I like the purple deco. That paint job is going to be awesome. So there you go. New Age is ready to ship out Slaughter. And man, I can't wait for some Shattered Glass Prime. And then from Iron Factory, we got IFEX45K. This is Cage Shishimura. Oh, man. Man, this looks so freaking awesome. I love the black and the red deco in this guy. I had this guy already, the original one, the Leo Convoy, and I also had the Shattered Glass one, so it's a great mold. I like it. And But this one just puts it over the top with that color deco. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, the alt mold looks very nice. Got some wings. I'm like, come on now. So this is part of the you know, Samurai series from uh, Iron Factory, and I'm really excited for this. Yeah, so this is 
IFEX45K Cage Shishimura. And man, I love that deco. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends. Let's move on to MP third party news. And we got a new image from Moon Studios. This is Radiotron, the Combiner Head. This is the uh, train bots, and this is what the uh, Combiner Head's going to look like. It looks really nice. I love those blue eyes, those metallic blue. Got some nice paint, some gunmetal. Looks like silver, yellow. So very nice. So there you go. That is Radiotron, the combiner head coming from Moon Studio. And then up next, it looks like we have a new company. They're called 3P Magnificent Mecha. And they're bringing us images of their color prototype of the MM-01 Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. Oh my gosh, another Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. All right. So this figure will be exactly about 30 centimeters tall with a skeleton inner metal storage, uh, LED lights, magnetic parts, that's pretty cool, and a display stand. Uh, looks pretty compact and movie accurate in both ways. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, like I said, it's another Optimus Prime from the Bobby movie, but like, it's got an exoskeleton, and it looks pretty cool. I like it. I love the magnetic parts. That would be awesome. I uh, don't know how much it is or anything like that. It's just early prototypes. But hopefully we'll uh, find out some more information later on. So there you go. New stuff from Magnificent Mecha. And we got another Optimus Prime coming. It looks pretty cool. And it looks like TFCon has shown their, uh, you know, their customizing class what figure is going to be coming up. So TFCon Toronto is coming up in December. And the 2021 custom class figure is going to be Cybertronian Downshifter, which uses the Netflix Will Jack and uses that as that uh, thing. So it's a new character. I think Downshift was an Energon, wasn't he? I don't know, but yeah. Um, all supplies will you'll need. We have the paint and customized will be provided by uh, Agents 3 and up. So if you're going to TFCon in Toronto and you got the customizing class option, this is who you're going to be painting. So it looks pretty good. I like it. it looks nice. Uh, I think I said Downshift is from Energon, I think. So there you go. TFCon has shown their uh, customizing class figure. And in breaking news, Banana Force is giving us another Optimus Prime. Yeah, I know. Shocker. Uh, didn't show really much. You know, it's got a nice shadow. You can see the red and the blue parts. You can tell it's Optimus Prime. Can't really read what it says, but just says breaking news. We're getting another premium line metal thing from uh, Banana Force. So there you go. Optimus Prime, Banana Force. And it looks like Fans Hobby has shown off some more photos of robot mode in for MB-17 Meg Tyrano. This is their Armada Megatron, and it looks so freaking awesome he looks really articulated got the little mini con with him you can move the cannon around everywhere underneath him you know on the back looks nice you got the 80s woman's working shoulder pads i like it you got the shank i can't wait for this thing man it looks so good so there you go fans hobby showing off some more of their mb17 meg tyranno this is armada megatron and it looks like Amstrad Spots is showing off their MX-27 Jansen. This is their Perceptor, and we got new box images. Ooh, could that mean that we're getting him really soon? Man, I hope so. He's not supposed to come out till next year, uh, but this could be just, you know, new box images. I don't know for sure if he's even in there, but uh, it'd be really sweet if he was. So there you go. New box images for MX-27 Jansen. This is x Transbots Perceptor, and I can't wait to get in my collection. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third-party news. Let's move on to official news. And it looks like Flames Toys treated us to, uh, you know, some nice reveals last week from uh, last weekend at San Diego Comic-Con. And it looks like we got some new stuff from them. So we got the Fuhrer model, uh, easy-to-assemble model kits. We got G1 RC, a great prototype. We got G1 Soundwave, a great prototype as well. Shockwave as well. And then we got some Fury actions, fully assembled action figures, small scale. We got pictures, uh, our, uh, we got to look at Leo Primal, their Leo Convoy color prototype. And then Kurakara Curie. Uh, we also got to see the IDW Rodimus color prototype as well. So very nice. So if you like Flames toys, you like to build your kits, and you like some uh, non-transforming, really articulated uh, stuff, then here you go. So there you go. That was San Diego Comic Con, and it uh, looks like Flames toys showed us some new stuff. And also from Fans Toys, if you've been waiting around for the Fuhrer model Windblade, it has been delayed. It was supposed to have been out in November of 2021, but they have moved it up to January 2022. So there you go. Windblade will be out next year or next month. And also from Flames Toys, man, a lot of stuff from Flames Toys. We got new images from Kurakari Curie Rodimus, and we also got IDW Cyclonus. So these are very nice additions to the top quality uh, action figure line. First, we will take a look at the colored prototypes of the Kurikari Curie Rodimus in his prime mode. It seems that the regular Kurikari Curie Rodimus will come with several extra parts to create this powered up version of the character. 
And we also have a gray prototype of the Cyclonus, uh, highly inspired by the IDW Lost Light design. So pretty cool. So yeah, if you like some uh, Flames toys there, come out with a lot of stuff. And if you've been waiting for the Transformers RED Wave 4, it is out in US retail. This is the one with Optimus Primal, and you have the G1 Megatron uh, with him uh, changing into uh, Galvatron. So, you know, reformatting Megatron. So there you go. They're out in US retail. Get out there and you know, find you some RED line. Then up next we have Takara Tomy's Premium Finish War for Cybertron Megatron in hand images. So this is a special redeco of the War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Megatron and a special cartoon accurate deco. Uh, this is going to be the final product and so what you see right here is what you get. Uh, it really looks like fingerprints on his chest. <laughs> looks like he's been, you know, he's in a crime scene or something and he's just got fingerprints everywhere. But yeah, there you go. That is the in hand images of Premium Finish more, uh, Megatron from War for Cybertron. Takara. And then we have Nindroid, Nindroid, G1 Optimus Prime and Megatron Revealed. Uh, these are a cute chibi style reditions of the classic Transformers Commanders. Optimus Prime will come with several interchangeable hands, an Optimus gun, and Energon axe. Megatron also shown in one picture. Uh, according to this, uh, let's see, it's going to be on the Nin Nindroid uh, website. Uh, Pre-orders go up on November 29th to December 22nd of this year, and they will start shipping out May 2022. Uh, Megatron is not available yet. So there you go. Uh, kind of like the big, you know, big head things, you know, the deformed kind of things. That's what they look like. So there you go. I've never heard of this, but it's Nindroid G1 Optimus Prime Megatron Revealed. And then we got some in-hand images of Transformers Golden Disc Collection Deluxe Pterosaur. Uh, he looks very close to the animation model, even with some comp compromises that have been taken out since it is retool of the uh, Deluxe Air Racer. Uh, we also have a look at the included gold disc and pterosaur gun, as well as the packaging. And to top it off, we have a great group shot of all the Kingdom Predacons. So pretty cool. I'm really excited for this. Uh, some of the other golden disc stuff have already been stripping out to uh, with the, from Amazon. So hopefully I'll get mine pretty soon. So there you go. in hand images of Deluxe Pterosaur. And also in hand images of Kingdom Golden Deluxe Collection Mutant Tigertron. Alright, so these are coming out pretty soon. They weren't supposed to be released until March, but it looks like Amazon is shipping out, like I said, some other ones already. Uh, they got the two-pack of uh, Puffer and the other one. And so, yeah, we got some in-hand images of Kingdom Golden Disc Collection Mutant Tigertron, and I'm excited. Can't wait for it. And if you've been waiting for Voyager Tigertron, he has been found in U.S. retail as well. Uh, looks like he was found in New Jersey. So there you go, man. If you're looking, you know, waiting for him, there you go. Get out there and start looking for some Tigertron. And it looks like Super 7 has finally revealed their images of Wave 3 of their non-transforming 7-inch line Transformers Ultimates. So we're getting G2 Jer uh, Megatron as a tank, G1 Retgar, we get the G1 Alligatorcon. <laughs> he looks so goofy in that ha ha cha 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 that smile right there. Golly. And we're also getting uh, IDW Tarn. So there you go. If you like the uh, Super 7. You know, they don't transform anything like that. So they're supposed to be around $55, and they're going to drop uh, fall of 2022. So there you go, Super 7 with their Transformer Ultimates. All right. He's so happy, that alligator. And it looks like Kingdom Voyager Blaster and Eject have been found in Southwest Virginia. My boy Lone Dragon, I know him, he's a good dude, um, found this in store. So yeah, and he got in-hand images as well. And that's awesome. This guy really wasn't supposed to be out till next year, but... He has been found, so yeah, happy hunting. I hope y'all are able to find this guy. I'm gonna go look for him, but I know he ain't gonna be around here, but awesome, that's really cool. So Blaster has been found in US retail. Freaking awesome. And then we might have a possible first look at the new Beast Wars Buzzsaw figure. Wow. As with the original, it is a reuse of the Kingdom Waspinator mold with a new head sculpt that is of the normal robot head rather than the mutant one. Uh, images only shows him in robot mode and he's quite mistransformed to boot as well. Although he has overall appeared to be very accurate to the uh, original figure. So that's really cool. So yeah, you know, we expected to get this and more likely it's probably going to be a generation selects thing. But there you go. We might have a possible first look at Buzzsaw. That is awesome. And we got in hand images of Braun. So, you know, someone else already got him already. They did a review of him, but it's a very nice rendition of Braun as seen in the Cybertron in battle in the Bumblebee movie. Robot mode is really impressive with the design, which really invokes the G1 incarnation. Braun includes a really big gun plus a drill. Both of them can be attached to a Cybertronian armor vehicle mode. Uh, the transformation seems very simple and fun, easy to go from one mode to the other. So, there you go. We got some comparisons with Braun. And I'm excited, man. There's a lot of great stuff coming out for the uh, Bumblebee movie line. 
So there you go, in-hand images of Braun from Studio Series. And more in-hand images of Deluxe Class Ratchet from the Studio Series. Uh, Ratchet proved to be another fantastic addition to the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Autobot Group, featuring a movie-accurate robot mode and a very compact Cybertron armored vehicle alt mode. Ratchet shows to be more complex and interesting transformation than usually, which is uh, much appreciated. And we also have a comparison shots next to uh, Ratchet and the rest of the Studio Series Bumblebee line. So there you go. We got Ratchet coming too. Awesome. Man, this is freaking great. And we got new stock images of the Core Class Hot Rod. This is Warp Cybertron K43. This is from the King Milan. So finally, we have a clear look at the packaging and robot and alt mode of this rendition of Hot Rod for the small Core Class line, which is their legend scale. Hot Rod comes with a red and blue sword rather than any gun. Uh, also, is going to be released later, uh, part of the Legacy Collection line. So there you go. Man, look at those gaps and those legs, man. Wow. There you go, that is Hot Rod in stock images of their core class, all right. And the final news we got today, looks like the staff of TFW 2005 was able to have a virtual sit down with the Transformer team, along with others from the fandom to discuss the studio series and uh, recently revealed Bumblebee movie figures. Included were insights into the process of designing the figures alt mode uh, from scratch with no reference, a couple Kingdom Way 5 surprises, and a lot more. Uh, we were also able to ask some questions. Now, I'm going to do the questions and answers. I'm going to copy and paste that into the uh, descriptions. If you want to read that, you can definitely go over there and read that if you want to. Uh, also, to cap it off, they also officially revealed the Bumblebee Movie Studio Series RC, which I like. I really love the alt mode. Man, that motorcycle mode looks really freaking awesome and they also showed some prototype pics as well and they showed will jack you know ratchet Soundwave, braun all those that we've already seen but i'm so excited this is gonna be freaking awesome i love the studio series line so there you go like i said if you want to read the question and answer session i'm going to copy and paste it into the description uh but yeah i'm really looking forward to that rc so there you go tfw got to talk some some transformers all right that is great stuff well, all right, folks, that's all we have this week for news, and my gosh, it is jam-packed full of just goodness. My, man, that round table, I'm excited for that RC. We got Mutant Tigertron coming. We got tons of stuff, man. We got that Megatron from Fans Hobby. We got Iron Factory uh, Beachcomber. Man, there is so much goodness coming out. I just, it's so, man, it's just great being a Transformer uh, collector right now. I'm just so tongue-tied. I just can't even speak right now, but man, really good stuff. So yeah, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for any of this stuff? you got to be excited for something. Come on now, it's Transformers. So I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and oh my goodness, hail Transformers. And good night, folks.